Hi, I spent a lot of my time researching into how we work as humans, how our brains work, how our bodies work, and finding out when humans do brilliantly and when we do disastrously. And in the course of my research, I get to see some amazing stuff and work with amazing people. But last year, one of the things that completely blew me away was a video I'm about to show you, which was shot by a colleague of mine, Roger Hanlon, who's a marine biologist specializing in cephalopods, that's octopuses, cuttlefish, and squid. And particularly, he's interested in camouflage. So let's roll the video and see what you think about this. Roger is swimming along. Uh, there's a rock. He's taking the movie. He sees a fish. And as he gets close to the rock, all of a sudden, this happens. Wow, I think that's amazing. I, I can't see that enough times. The octopus appears as if by magic. It's just been sitting there completely obscured. Let's just rewind that. We'll see it in slow motion. See the coloration of the octopus as he takes on the color of the rock, but even more incredibly, he changes the texture of his very skin to make him appear just like the vegetation on the rock and then even though you know he's there he disappears completely and you can't see him there's many things we can learn from this video i think certainly we can look at nature and go wow that's amazing but for me one of the things that intrigues me about this octopus is a real bit of evidence of the mind influencing the body and i use the word mind carefully there because I would argue the octopus has a mind and that he's exercising choice. He's choosing that rock, he's choosing to match the coloration of that rock, and he's choosing to keep that camouflage whilst Roger swims past. And when Roger gets to a certain distance from him that he feels threatened, extra threatened by, he chooses to decolor and scoot off over there. So we're seeing the octopus making choices, calculating, working out what's going on, I would say using his mind to influence his brain, because octopuses have brains and very developed nervous systems, to influence his physiology. The change not just in the color, but in the texture of the skin. Absolutely incredible. Question is, if an octopus can do that, then what can we do?